Hey, welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today, Kenzie is going to be helping me out and she's going to be making this delicious Dutch apple pie, y'all. It's so good. It's so good and it smells amazing. Mm, it doesn't have a crust on top. It's got like a crumble on top. A streusel kind of. It's good. Y'all know I'm still recovering from knee surgery, so she's doing a lot of baking she for had me. foot surgery. I mean, Not yeah, foot knee. surgery. I'll get it right in a minute. Foot surgery. See, it's been a long four weeks. <laughs> But anyway, she's quite the baker, and this is a good pie, y'all. So, would you like some pie? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started on our Dutch apple topping. The best part, it is so good. Mm. Here I have one cup of flour. It doesn't matter if it's all-purpose or self-rising, but mine is self-rising. And then I'm going to add half a cup of sugar, half a cup of lightly packed brown sugar, and then one teaspoon of cinnamon in there my sugar out and then I have a fork and I'm just gonna mix it together real fast it doesn't have to be perfect just a light little mix before I add in my one stick of softened salted butter okay so I have it all mixed together that's my oven and now I'm gonna add in one stick or half a cup of salted butter and I put mine in the microwave for about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds maybe. Yeah. This is softened. So softened just means you can like put your finger down in it and it'll leave it'll, a dent. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now I'm just going to mash it in there with my fork. Pretend you're making biscuits. And yeah. just get it all nice and crumbly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back to assemble our pie. All right. So I have my oven preheated to 425. And then I have my crust in a nine inch deep, deep dish, deep dish, uh, pie pan. Pie pan and I'm yeah. using cast iron. You can use any kind you want. Doesn't matter. And here I have so, um, seven thinly sliced Granny Smith apples. Good old grannies. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm going to add a good old pinch of salt and then Set it in here. Get the teaspoon. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of apple pie spice. A heaping. All right. Well, you know it's hard to get out. There we yeah. go. That'll work. Apple pie spice. All right. And then I have a quarter cup of packed brown sugar, a quarter cup of regular granulated sugar, and then three tablespoons of all purpose white lily flour. I'm going to add that in there. Perfect, perfect. Let me just say that any unbaked pie shell that you all want to use will do, but like she said, do make sure it is a deep dish, nine inch deep dish. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toss those and I'll come back when they're all coated. All right, now that I have my filling all ready to go, I'm just going to pour it straight into my crust here. Mmm. So good. Y'all. What do y'all like with pie? I like ice cream, ice cream caramel whipped cream, sauce, whipped cream. And caramel. So let us know what you all like with your apple pie. Dad likes coffee. Yeah, just or just to have a slice with a cup of coffee or milk or something. I've never been one to really want coffee with my desserts, personally. It's... It would depend. I do like a coffee cake or a pound cake, but I'd rather, I usually just drink coffee by itself. I just yeah, love coffee. I just like coffee. Yeah. Mm, oh, look at that. All the juices will come out. This won't be a really sloppy, it's gonna be so wet good. pie. So That's what I like. Yeah. All right. So now, y'all. This is what makes it. The absolute best part. I only like Dutch apple pie. I don't like, I don't like it unless it has. This you like the topping on it buttery topping yeah and it's a lot this recipe makes a lot of the topping but you're gonna want to use it all oh yeah you want to pile makes, it right on it makes it so so good so i'm just gonna add it all over my pie mm. every last bit all right get it piled on there we go all right so she is ready to go in our oven mm. and i'm so excited i know it looks so good so i'm gonna bake it in my oven at 425 for about 10 minutes then after the 10 minutes is over, I'm gonna reduce my heat to 350 and bake it for another 30 to 40 minutes. And then 
your house is gonna smell so good. Oh wait. yeah. So excited. All right, so quick tip here. If you have it in the oven and you notice that your sugar is getting a little too brown, um, just take it out really fast and uh, put some foil over it so the sugar doesn't continue to burn. All right, so here it is. I just have it covered in some foil. And my 10 minutes are over, so I went ahead and reduced my heat to 350, and I'm putting it back in there for about 30 to 40, 40 minutes. Okay, so the 30 minutes is over, so I took the foil off, and I put her back in the oven to bake for another 10 to 15 minutes just so it can continue getting brown on the top. Daddy's getting to do the taste testing for this year pie, y'all. I'm the guinea pig. Yeah, he's always <laughs> a guinea pig. Somebody's got to do it. He uh, loves apple pie. Man, it smells so good. It smells, is it cinnamon? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dutch apple pie. Can't day. have apple pie without cinnamon. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Let's see what he thinks. Mm. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Now, what would you eat with this? Ice cream, whipped cream, just a cup of coffee. A glass of milk. Glass of milk. <laughs> he likes milk with pie. Yeah. He likes milk dessert. So. Yeah. So, That's good. God, I reckon. Ten out of ten. Yes. Ten out of ten. Yes. Mm. All right, y'all. Make yeah. this for your man on Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. And you'll right. keep him around forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This will be the perfect Valentine's mm. uh, present for you, hubby, or you men if you bake. Make one for Ooh, you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, make one for you, woman. Yeah. And it's cute. Go. It is cute. It's pretty. Cute as pie. Pretty as pie. Pretty as pie. There I'm you go, y'all. I hope you watch it. Oh, I hope you make it. I said watch it. <laughs> He's just going to take a bite. My own creation. Well, I guess I might as well take a bite, too. I need a bite. All right, cheers. It was hot. Happy. Pie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I didn't exaggerate. It's it's awesome. It's good. What I like about a Dutch apple, I love a crust, but sometimes you can get too much crust. Mm -hmm. And what it takes like, away from the flavor. Yeah, gets, what I like about a Dutch apple, like, you get all them apples in there, and that crumble on top. So good. And then you get so just good. the right amount of everything. So there you go, y'all. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. You ten have to make ten. it. You gotta yeah. make it. And you could add pecans to this if you wanted. I mean, you could do yeah. pecans in the topping if you wanted to add. Some people want that crunch. Some people don't. It doesn't matter. But anyway, have your, this is good just to me like it is. Yeah, I wouldn't I yeah. wouldn't add anything. Only thing, Except some caramel and ice cream. Maybe. Caramel or ice cream or something like that. But it really doesn't need. Mm, delicious. It's really good. Simple as a gift. If I do say so myself. She did good. My baby little chip off the old block. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Now. Hope you make this. If you do, you tag us the at sign Mountain Cook on Missy. Anytime you make anything, take a picture of it and post it. Tag us. Make sure you're liking and following this fa this Facebook page. And if you're on YouTube, I do have a YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel as well. So, all right, y'all. Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today you got Kenzie, Kenzie. in the kitchen. <laughs> you got Kenzie. <laughs> Uh, we're nothing fancy, just, just good, good eating. eating. Bye, Bye guys. guys.